Welcome back guys, we're going to continue on this Austro-Hungarian Empire campaign. Um, we've skipped ahead a couple of years while I was playtesting. And uh, it looks like the British are not recovering. They are in a war at the moment, but they're not building any ships. Despite the fact we've got 6 billion naval uh, funds. Uh, bit of an issue. So now we've got two nations that are not building any ships. The Germans and the French seem to still be in it. So uh, yeah, I think this might be a short episode. I'm just going to see if any of my ships need refitting. We have unlocked a new torpedo boat hull. I think it's a uh, Destroyer, the first destroyer hull, even though it's called the torpedo boat destroyer. So we can check that out first. I'll change this disgusting colour. Oh, it is a TB for these. That's interesting. For a different nation. This is uh, able to be armoured, I think, anyway. Unless I'm getting it mixed up with a different one. So, I don't know how much more useful this is going to be. 800 tonnes compared to 500, so maybe. We can build it out, see what it comes to. It'll be interesting to see what the speed goes up to. Looks like we've got a new engine as well. It's a big tower that is. I don't think I need a tower that big for a torpedo boat, so I might reduce that. So that only gives me 47, so I'm either going to need two of them. Yeah, I'm going to need two of them. So let's have a look at the speed, shall we? So there's a jump there, which is pretty much the same place as the previous jump. Yeah, it's basically the same speed, which is a shame. I was hoping it'd be a lot faster. Let's change this now. That's the same size. That's the small one. I'm probably not going to bother with this if it's not any faster. But I'll design it and see what it comes out like. Still can't get side by side. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, you can. Right, so this is the first boat that I can get side by side doubles. So that is one big difference. Right. Let's build it out. Acid now. I don't think turrets affect torpedo tubes. I'm pretty sure they don't. No, main guns, secondary guns, casemate. So, no, it doesn't. Oops. Right, 
Right then, let's have a look. If we reduce the beam, we get more weight to spend. If we reduce the draft, we get more weight to spend. So I'll reduce both of them. So let's just put doubles everywhere for now. And then see what it looks like. Can I fit another one in? So if I wanted to, I can. Obviously it will affect the accuracy or the uh, f um, arc, firing arc of this. It affects it dramatically, so I won't bother with another one there. Can I move this back? Yeah, I can. Okay, so... Let's so we've still got a huge four weight offset. Now we've got a huge aft weight offset, okay. that and then reduce these to singles That's not too bad. So we've got 2% over. So what would it do if I change these to singles? Looks like it's quite a considerable difference. It is. So what would it do if I took that gun off? Nothing. Oh, 1%. So I'd have to take both guns off. So what I might do, remove them, put some singles here, and then add some more guns. Too much weight offset here. I'm gonna have to move everything, I reckon. Oh no, maybe not. No, that's close to perfect. I've obviously got 2% left over. So if I was gonna put one more there, I've obviously got 4.5 weight offset. So if I remove them, right. So 2.9, it's not a huge deal. One 
1.5 forward now. There we go, 0 0.7. Happy days. I have got 4% left over, but I can just add stuff if I get any new tech unlocked. Why has that got a plus there? <laughs> right, okay. I think that'll do. So let's compare it. 32 knots and it's got 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9 on either side. It's also got 5 guns. So that's basically 32 knots, but with a lot less torpedoes and less guns, but it's also half the price. Hmm, is it worth paying double the cost? I suppose I could build a hundred of them and see where we go from there so a hundred of them would be 10,000 crew so I'd be left with 27,000 alright let's have a look see what else if we can refit anything I don't think there is anything worth refitting on these. I don't think I've unlocked the next torpedo propulsion, not quite yet. So the other torpedo boats don't need refitting, I don't believe. Um, St. Ivan, this is my... Um, power projection ship so I don't think it's worth changing anything on this we've got a little bit of weight we can add yeah I don't think well, I want to get rid. That's annoying. I want to get rid of some of my crew, but that puts it up a little bit too much. I could reduce this a bit. It's a bit much. Right, that'll get rid of some crew. I wonder what the difference is. Crew info. 754. So it's only 130. It's not as many as I'd hoped. We have actually got an AUGS engine now. But I'm not going to add that to this. So I believe we've got 30 of these St. Ivans. I think so anyway. 
So 135 is uh, times by 3, 500 times by 35,000. So we should have 22,000 crew after this. And then Prince Eugene. We could do that and then upgrade these guns, because I think we've got 13 inch Mark IIs. So they've not got as good accuracy. They're alright at 12,500. Although that's a long range, and it's only 0 0.3 accuracy at that range. I'd rather be at closer range than that. So I still think that the 12 inch guns are the way forward, but it's better than these 11s. Uh, we And we've still got a little bit of weight left over. So it's only really... We might have Barbet too, actually. We have. Spot on. Right, so I just need to reduce these ever so slightly. Lovely, lovely. So better barbets, better armor, better guns, auxiliary engine. I'm quite happy with that. Seems like a worthy refit to me. And then I believe that's everything. Torpedo boats and the two battleships.
So, unfortunately, you can't build these. But I want some more of them, I reckon. So, I need to build the original. Which is that one. And then um, we've got 22,000 crew, I believe. doing for cash we're building and refitting so it's difficult to really tell but I think 22,000 crew 800 so that's 30 so 30 times 10 is 300 million and we've got 5.5 billion so we can easily afford it so 30 of these And then, at the moment, we're just trying to let them recover. The French are doing alright. So I could start bullying the French. So obviously I'm going to have to wait until these ships are refitted. So it looks like the French are already um, getting negative with me because I've got these ports here, even though I haven't got any, any uh, ships in them. They've got all of them ships here, so they're actually causing negative tension with me. So I don't think I need to actually do anything. Everyone's unlimited, so that's good. All the new ones... Right, I can't put them in Gibraltar or anywhere that I've acquisitioned. So, what I'm going to do... As far as I'm aware, one of these is a Prince Eugene, and then the rest of them are all St. Ivan's, which is good. I'll have to double check that. I believe that's the case.
So it looks like all of them are St. Ivan's, which is good. I can't see any Prince Eugene's mixed in there. Okay, so now I should be able to set all these to Spalato. And I can't. Is it because there's too much for the port? That's annoying. It means that they're going to mix in with the Captero ones. Ah, if I move the ones out of Captero into... Um, Gibraltar, then that'll make sure they're all separate then. That's one way to do it. And then all the new ones will split between these two ports until they're full. Right. Now I don't actually want them in Gibraltar. Oh. They're not in Gibraltar, they're there. Because <laughs> um, that's the staging area for all my main ships. So I'm going to put them... I'm going to put them in Valletta. I want to see if this is Eastern or Western Mediterranean. Because I've got a feeling it's Western. But I could be wrong. It's counting as Western at the moment, but that might have been because they were there on the previous turn. So I'm just going to skip ahead one turn just to double check. So it is Western. I thought Malta was Western. Right. Really, I wanted them in the Eastern. But that'll do for now. So, all I'm doing at the moment is waiting for these ships to build and these ships to refit. So, uh, I don't particularly want to get in a war quite yet. Which is why I didn't want these in the uh, Western Med. But to be fair, I don't need to move these out of Captero until the other battleships have finished building. So, might just check see how many months that is going to be.
So we've got eight more months. So I'll put them in Katero just for a little bit longer. Now they might have changed C roll because I've been moving them about, so I'll have to change into limited. Well, it looks like refitting them changes them back to MBN. So I'm glad I checked. Saved quite a bit of cash. So it looks like the French are really pushing on me in the uh, Western Med. We've now got 2,000 metre range, so I'll have to refit all my ships again to get that. But it'd probably be worth it. Although I've been doing quite well with 1,000 metre, I still think 2,000 would be a nice addition. The only problem with 2000 is it's easier to dodge when you're firing, firing them at that range. And I have been struggling to hit them. They have been dodging out of the way quite easily, so even the battleships. So I might just leave it at 1000. Hmm, Mark II torpedo launches is bloody tempting though, so maybe I will. Maybe I will. <coughs> it's a bit annoying that I'm going to have to refit them again, but that's two pretty big torpedo um, 
attacks. Unfortunately, you can't see what Mark 1 is and compare it to because it automatically shows you what Mark 2 is, which is annoying. And it's annoying that I've got to do it on three different ships. Maybe I'll just do it on this one ship and keep the others as it as they are because they have been performing quite well. And then this ship can be the uh, the one with all the new tech. So they automatically oh, you don't automatically get the Mark II. What? Did I did I read the tech wrong? Was it tube mechanisms? Let me go back and have a look at that. So my eyes don't deceive me. Mark two torpedo tubes. So why is it not applying it? It's always applied it in the in the past. Let's see on a new design if it's there. I suppose the one good thing is I can compare them. See, that's Mark II. Right. What did I have it at? 17. Fast. I'm just going to have to take a picture of this because I'll never remember all these details. Yeah, Mark 1. Well, it's never failed to work in the past. So the Mark 2's got 0.19 better rotation. Oh, it's... 70 seconds faster reload as well. That's huge. So they're the only two differences. Tiny bit of rotation speed. It's like 1% rotation speed, so that's not a big deal. Maybe 2%. But the 70 second reload time's huge. Can't believe it's not it's not updating it. I'm I'm a bit gutted, I'm not gonna lie. Well 
let's save the design and copy. So he's Mark II on the copy. wondering whether it's just a, a visual bug. Let's have a look. Let's open it up again. So this is now the refitted one that should have the Mark II torpedo tubes. So let's refit. And they are Mark II on this. So it looks like it was just a visual bug, but just to make sure, I'm going to refit this design instead. Because I don't believe it changed this either. So that was a bit weird. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm changing anything else, am I? Because I, I get the propulsion automatically, and this torpedo tubes are now done so I'm not actually changing anything oh I've got ballastite now that's about it really that's the best one so just reduce this by a tiny tiny bit oops Uh, I'll have to reduce it by quite a bit, unfortunately. But 70 seconds. Oh, in a minute, I'm talking about reload speed. I'm only taking one launcher. One, one amount of ammo. What an idiot. What an absolute idiot. So it's only the... Oh, the rotation speed's actually 12.25 on this one. Why was it? That's weird. Some weird ass shit's going on. Ah. But then again, that's still 11.28. Right, well, I'm still going to save this design and refit this one. Now I believe, yeah, so although I refitted this and I haven't upgraded them to this, they're still the original. The refit, you can refit the originals to a, a refit of a refit, which is good. So hopefully I can delete this one and still refit them. Nice. Yeah, that's nice, that is. So I think there's five months left on them ships. Yeah, so in four months I'll move them other ones out of Captero. So that's one.
plus two. Right, we're going to be at war. 16 million. I can afford 16 million because I still want to play test something. So, it's not ideal, but... I just want to play test something. Want war again? Come on, give me a break. Cut me some slack, man. Right, so there's two months, but I'll move them now anyway. Okay, so I've got my ships built now anyway. So, I just want to quickly play test something, so I'm going to call an end to this episode, guys. So, sorry there's no battle in this one, but I wanted to organise everything ready for the next few battles. Oh, this is annoying. I've got to do it just while I play test. So yeah, um, thanks for watching guys. I shall see you in the next one. Take care.